All right, we just harvested a bunch of uh, salt marsh hay. We used the BCS with the cutter bar and just uh, threw it on top of the BCS back in the trailer here. We're gonna bring this into the barn and uh, spread it out green on the barn floor, spread it out about six inches deep and let it dry. Um, because this marsh grass is kind of wiry as it is, I don't believe it will heat up. Um, and we'll send a sample off to the Truro Agriculture College and uh, see what it comes back with the protein uh, percentage and all that, how digestible it is. We'll also uh, feed it to the sheep and the cattle and see how palatable it is to them. All the old timers say that uh, cattle like nothing more than salt marsh hay, so we'll see how this experiment, uh, first stage, comes together. Uh, the machine was great out on the marsh. It uh, didn't get stuck or anything, didn't rut up anything at all. And uh, while I was using the machine, I was thinking that an uh, all-terrain vehicle with a, uh, a little trail, a pretty big trailer with flotation tires would be the ultimate hay gathering vehicle. And then we could drive right out onto the marsh, fork it into the trailer, and back right up into the barn and unload it and uh, make a big haystack right in the barn and that would be our salt marsh hay system. I would also like to experiment with hanging the marsh hay on a, a wire fence outside and then uh, feeding it off the fence in the winter time. That would be really cool. So uh, we're just getting started and uh, we'll keep uh, experimenting. Mm -hmm. Bye for now. <laughs>